The accessible raised garden bed at the Hardensburg Nursing and Rehabilitation Center was the brainchild of Annette and Stan Martin, who recently completed the first ever Master Gardener classes offered in Breckenridge County by they, Agriculture they Extension Agent us, uh, Carol Hinton. They chose this project. We already had raised beds, mm -hmm. and some of them were having issues of getting down on their hands and knees, even working in the raised beds. So they were uh, trying to look at other options and trying to find other ways to garden and that other people could enjoy garden, gardening as well. The raised beds at the Nursing and Rehab Center are there more for the residents' aesthetic enjoyment as well as the vegetables to eat, but not to care for. That is Annette and Stan's job. The center's activities director said Breckenridge County, being a farming community, has lots of residents who used to live on a farm. So most of our residents that come in here have had a farm or have lived on a farm, grew up on a farm. So this kind of makes it feel a little bit more homey, that's for sure. The raised bed has wheels so it can be moved around to get more sunlight or rain if needed and also serves as a comfort to the residents. Anything that they used to do that we can bring here to make them feel at home eases their minds and souls, that, that's for sure. In addition to the raised bed at the nursing and rehab center, Annette and Stan added three more locations, including one at the St. Romuald Catholic Church's Senior Day Program. When, when we have a senior day here uh, and we get visitors, that is the highlight of our month for seniors is when we have people that come and want to talk to us and you know, still being able to encourage the seniors to get out and do things and to still be part of the community. As for Annette and Stan, the beds are accomplishing just what they hope for others to enjoy. It seems like they've, they've done more buy-in this year. I think they've been excited about it, more excited about it. Yes, and at two locations we were happy that they were actually putting in their own plants. So that's what we wanted, is to have buy-in at these locations. Annette and Stan brought the beds to each location, did the planning, and now just check on them weekly while they are enjoyed by others. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.